Flare AI tutorial for beginners, how to create product photos with Flare AI. Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, I'll be showing you guys how you can create amazing product photos and how you can get started with Flare AI because the probabilities with Flare are endless. Plus, it's available for free when you want to just get started and you will be able to customize your pre-existing product photos and make them into something new. So let's get started. Now to get started with Flare AI is absolutely free. You can create upwards of 100 designs per month and create upwards of 10 projects with the free plan on Flare AI. Now to get started, simply click on get started for free on the top right. And once you do that, you can proceed with your email address or you can choose to sign up with Google as well. Now I'm just gonna sign up with Google over here and I'm going to select my Google account. So we're just going to select that. And once we have selected our Google account, we can get started with building our project. Now you will see there is a very clean and simple interface in Flare. You will see on the left, you have your project and API. On the top right, you have your subscription and account. And then you can get started with a fashion project or a new project. Now we are going to be focusing on a fashion project. So we're going to create that. Now, after that, it's going to show you what kind of fashion project it is. So you will see on the left, you have assets and we're going to just go into that and you can upload your product photo. And then after that, it will appear with multiple different types of settings and images. You can also go into generate and ask it to generate a photo shoot of your product. Then you can go into elements to include certain types of elements within your product. And then for clothing and apparel, you can choose to model it on a person to show what your clothing would look like if it was modeled onto a person. So you can go on ahead and choose the clothing and then choose the exact position you would want the person to be in. Now, how can we create our own from scratch product images? Well, for that, first off, we are going to create or upload our particular product. So for that, you're going to click on assets on the top left. Then you're going to click on upload product photo, and then you will upload your product images. So I'm just going to open up any product image I want to use. Let's say it's this one. And then I'm going to click on remove background because I want to remove background. And then I can describe the product in this image for the AI to better understand what kind of image this is. So this is a short top handle bag like this. Um, I'm just going to add bag. And then I'm going to click on continue over here. And just like that, I have this image. Now, this particular image has a hand holding it. So I'm going to choose an alternate image for my product. I'm going to click on upload product photo. And I'm just going to upload this one instead. And I'm going to choose to remove my background on this. And then we're going to click on remove. Then we are going to click on bags like this and then click on continue. Now I have all of my bags added. Now I can choose to crop certain ones out. Let's say we only want one bag so I can go on ahead and remove the others in my own editor. So I can just download this image. And I'll open this up and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to select this portion. However, I'm going to proceed with all four of the bags. Now, after that, I can choose a template where I want my products to be staged in. You can also go into the editor to further put a placement in and you can choose surroundings, backgrounds, number of results you want, or we can proceed with a template. So I think I'm going to go with person. I'm going to search in person in the templates and it has a bunch of different templates, but I think I'm going to search for fashion now to find a more appropriate template for our particular type of product. So I think I am going to go for something that's a bit chic like this. So after that, I'm going to click on generate and it will automatically put the prompt in on the top and you can go on ahead and further customize your prompt as well. If you want to change the colors, if you want to specify a particular theme within that type of prompt, you can put that in as well. And now we're going to wait for our image to be generated and currently it's still under progress. So we're just going to wait 
And just like that, our products have been generated. They look pretty nice. Obviously, I would have to provide some more detail to further customize the product. Now, one easier way to do this is to go with a very segregated product image. So if I was to show you guys an alternate or better product image, I'll show you guys another example that can be more helpful if you are doing a product image and you want it to be as simple as possible so the AI can better generate your type of illustration so using this kind of product image is going to be a lot easier for you to generate multiple different campaigns and variations and then i'm just going to add bag or purse over here and then click on continue we have our product here and i'm going to delete some of the pre-existing images place our product here and now i can go into the editor so the product is a purse and i want it to be um, standing on a Circular reflective platform surrounding with, uh, surrounded by flowers and in front of a, let's say I want this to be in front of a Paris street. And if you have any reference images, you can also upload those over here. And then I'm going to click on generate over here to get started with our own customized product image. So let's wait and see what kind of image that this particular prompt will generate. And just like that, our image has been generated. It took about a minute for the image generation to be completed. And it looks wonderful. I really like the overall appearance. And you can go on ahead and further customize this. You can paint over objects to erase them from the image if you don't like a certain element that is present. You can also go into image variations where you can create similar images. So you can create all alternates of the same AI generated image and you can easily use images like this to add to your Shopify store, to add to your website, to add to your Instagram campaigns and so much more. Now even once you have generated your image, you can go into elements and include more elements within that. So if you want any other element, you can always arrange that as well as adding multiple different assets into a generated image. However, keep in mind that when you generate images with AI, it does a really good job of doing proportions and making sure the image is very blended in. As you guys can see that this image, if I just show it to you guys like so, you will actually see there's a lot of attention to detail in this. You will see that there's a reflection, everything is fitted in, the Eiffel Tower is present in the background somewhere. So these kinds of details are going to be very, very well equipped into the AI generated image and can help you in boosting your campaigns and making your campaign seem as realistic as possible. So I hope you guys found this video helpful. If you did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. And if you want to download your images from Flare, simply click on the generated image, do a right click and then click on download over here to download the full image for your browser and for you to upload. So make sure to leave a comment down below if I left anything out or if there's anything else you'd like to know and I will catch you guys in the next video.